I wanted to take, I wanted revenge, you know, for so much. It was like just a pot of so much boiling and brewing, and I wanted to get revenge. So I got out of the hospital. And, Turn the car on. And, you know, when I, got shot, I said, I got don't let anybody and steal your identity on the radio. And, happened, and then this guy know, started know, going on about growing up in Chicago in a gang. Stealing cars from the airport of all things. I mean, and when I'm walking of O'Hare I Airport. The other one just to be safe. And as I was healing and recuperating, and you know, I couldn't run. I was still walking with a cane. Um, I ran into one of the guys who was involved in my shooting. I shot him five times, and um, shortly afterwards, they pronounced him dead at the hospital. And um, the cops were looking for me. And it's funny because. Um, he was his only witness, but what happened was the cops actually grabbed one of the guys from my neighborhood, and um, instead of being a stand-up guy, he actually ratted me out. And so once I knew that the cops were looking for me, rat. Uh, it was over with for me. I had to leave the neighborhood. Chicago no wasn't rat. an option no more. So I fled, and I ended up from you know to Ohio to so Florida, I paid for internet Ohio, it says Florida, uh, Wi-Fi connected months, no internet kidding. access what does that I was mean working is at it this, Wi-Fi uh, internet furniture warehouse under a different name I just made the union so I was meeting a lot of people the big wigs from the warehouse corporate and I remember my supervisor walking up to me with with this man and I'm thinking okay I'm gonna meet another supervisor and when I shook his hand, he actually was a Orlando police officer. And the extradition came over, and they Come actually on. the warrant came, and they arrested me there. Um, He's a and Chicago, then the Chicago thief. Chicago police came and got me and took me You're back Chicago? to Chicago. 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 Uh, it wasn't Chicago easy. Chicago guy with an Orlando a, police a officer on the way to Met Airport. From a previous uh, relationship, wow. and so this would be my first, my firstborn. It was my son. That was crazy I was talk because about my son, my son. I grew up without a father. Knowing who my real father was, I found out he grew up without a father. And now I'm going to have a son who's going to grow up without a father. And I wanted, I didn't want that to happen. So that's pretty much how I ended up getting caught because I tried to keep a relationship I have with to use him. my own mobile Wi Fi and pull up Eve. And you're listening to Carlos Colon. And my away goodness. Until she as he said about life in Humboldt Park in Chicago from the 70s to the 90s it was pretty drastic what a tragic story thus My far when we come here. back more of Carlos Colon's story here on Our American Story Need life insurance but have diabetes, high blood pressure, or on anxiety meds? If you're a 50-year-old male, even porky, or with type 2 diabetes, uh, you know. a million dollars... This is a low car to play, a low car play to unconnect well for, for us. affordable term life insurance, call term provider and speak with Big Lou at 800-444-2013. 800-444-2013 or visit BigLou.com. Remember, Big Lou's like you. He's on meds too. 800-444-2013. A lot of schools talk about training the cybersecurity workforce of the future, but do they really deliver? My Computer Career has been supplying the IT workforce with thousands of skilled, certified pros for 15 years. Train with the experts in support, networking, or cybersecurity and start your career in months, so... not years. Upskill even faster. On campus or live online, qualified students may get financial aid, including the GI Bill. My Computer Career. Accredited, acclaimed, effective. Take the free career evaluation at mycomputercareer.edu. With the holidays upon us, this is the so increase cool. in traveling, I wish, I wish you could have came with, Brian. Also heightens the need to I'm in a Batmobile. I'm in a real fucking Batmobile right now. Like the one from the movie. This time of year is an Robert Pattinson. To drain your accounts, open All right, new loans in your name, and damage right. your financial right. future. Lifelock. Come on, personal hot spot. You gonna come on or what? This on your own. Don't let the busy holiday season catch you off guard. Save up to 25% off your first year with promo code on. news. I need to talk to my baby. Here. The internet's got to work in this car. I paid for it. Like, I'm not fucking moving until she's on. I'm going to have to call budget to come out here and say, there's no what's going on here. games that has gone on forever. You can't just mark it up five times and give 40% off, 50% off. Match this, match that, whatever. We will not It must be really, like, shitty cell tower, because when I walked up to this car, it, it all went off. I couldn't even... 
walk up to the car and That's tape why it. That's IDC they've turned the jewelry business model upside down. With lower profit margins, no commission salespeople, and straight up transparent prices. I don't want to make a killing, I want to make a customer. Our referral business is through the roof because we go way out and beyond oh, to make sure that we giant. protect them. IDC, for integrity, honesty, and genuine value. We're in it for the long term. International Diamond Center, four Orlando locations. On the new True Crime Podcast, Unrestorable. Dive into the heartbreaking case of a mother declared not competent to stand. Can you give me the uh, phone number for the budget rental car in the Orlando International Airport, please? Something went wrong. Please try again. You, get your you gotta be fucking kidding me, man. Life to be so unpredictable. You gotta be kidding me. Something were to happen to me. The mortgage, car payments, and all the other bills. Even things like our annual summer vacation would be out of reach. I had heard about life insurance through Ethos and how easy it was to get coverage. They were right. I knew it was killing gas in there. And get life insurance right now. I Let's say I gotta go to the window. Tell her to come. That's what I'll do. I'll go to the window. I want my Eva. Paid for it. I want it on. It says connected without internet. I mean, what, what does that even mean? I want internet. That was the whole point. Just to have internet. Let's see if Eve's working. Eve, come on, baby. Some of the best sounds you'll ever hear are generic, safe, effective. Hey, sweetie. Even money saving, just like. Hi, darling. I'm in the car in Orlando, uh, in Florida. Let's see if you're working. They have the same key ingredients and go through a rigorous review process. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist today and visit fda.gov/generic-drugs. Generics are safe, effective, and can save you money. You'll like the sound of that. It's weird because my mobile hotspot on my actual phone isn't even going on. That goes on everywhere. Everywhere I'm ever at. And we continue with Al American Stories. We follow Stallone's story. He was trying the Chicago game at a young age, killed a man, and was on the run with some cops. Let's get back to Carlos. Still. With the rest of his story. They sentenced me to do 20 years in prison. I had to do 20 years straight. Let's so try driving a little and see what happens. I want to make sure that you guys know this. When I was a kid, I got saved. I found Jesus. The problem was I would go There's home and Jesus right there, was not buddy. preached to me because my home was domestic abuse, drug violence, and so we were poor. It wasn't like God was in the house. But no Thank seed you, returns Jesus. void. So the seeds were in me. I get to prison. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, and Jesus. Thank you, God. They say Thank blessings you, and curses Thank come out the mouth. I would always Thank keep you. these curses. Like, Thank if you, I ever Yahweh. see this one person, Thank I'm going to try Lord. to kill him. I'm going to try Thank to do you. this and that. Bless me. And one of them Thank was you. the guy that actually killed Jesus a friend Christ. of mine, Amen. my buddy, Where Fredo. Of Jesus and he All ended endeavor. up in the same prison as me. And like, he was in a big gang, but his gang turned on him. And now the numbers are in my favor. So I wanted this guy and we got into a big fight, just me and him. And it got really bad where we ended up going to segregation, which is like a prison in the prison. And um, he actually witnessed to me, believe it or not. He actually shared the word with me. And, you know, I didn't take him as serious, but no seed returns void. So the seeds were planted again. So that's when I said, enough is enough. You know, I just wanted something different. You know, I talked about the void in my life. Well, you know, I went to prison with a void Fuck, in my life. I figured it out. Oh, I, I realized it. It was Jesus. I was missing God in my life. Even though he was always there, I never Check willingly recommitted myself to him. I, I never willingly said, okay, Lord, I need you to go through this with me. 
you know, I needed him as my father. I was looking for a father and, and he was always the one. So I remember making a prayer in segregation oh, and I started God. praying and I asked God, awesome. listen, Lord, I know I'm Thank in trouble. Jesus. I know I'm going to go Thank to a worse Jesus. prison. I'm not trying to give you one of these prayers where if you get me out of this, I'll be good. Oh, because sometimes, a lot of times we say amazing. that prayer and, and it's never the case. Amazing. I just ask God to go with me and to, you know, watch over me and to surround me with yeah, believers man. and to make it where Woo! I can convince my wife to change her life. Oh, those breaks I can are... have a home wow. a, at home when I get All home right. ready for me. Back to uh, the, uh, a church waiting on me and you know I wanted to totally change my life I just wanted to turn away from who I was and um, become something new. and so that started the next 10 years which were the best 10 years of my life in prison I was able to not only recommit my to the Lord but you know God was preparing me to come home the joker in the bad mode no this is Batman and Batmobile. My I, brother's I was, the joke. I was raised with bitterness and, and rage and anger. Batman and the Batmobile. And God was yeah, showing man. me the root of it. And God reminded me that if you want to be truly forgiven, and I've done some Batman. things that were for murder, <laughs> if you really want to be forgiven, you have to forgive. And so that's when I was saying, okay, Lord, I release that unto you. Show me how to forgive, and so no longer am I mad at oh, the innocent man in my mother's life or my mom on, for the man. way she raised me. Even though everything has got to be hard, times were tough, you know. Everything has got to be she fucking hard. Could have learned how to do things better. The past Super is the past. Super so take, I got to take forever. Where That's okay. what I should say. No Everything's got to no take anger, no forever. Let's, let's fill that with peace and Christ. joy and uh, happiness. And I was hoping that he can make a way in my life you know to be forgiven by the families that i had took their son away their brother away their father away you know that was my prayer for the next 10 years god was really spiritually getting me ready and motivating me for life outside of prison a what new the life fuck, man? there was this one man I remember he was bold. His name was William Flores. Fucking make him And I would see him. There's no way Bible back to the office. And, Unbelievable. Yeah, I knew. Okay, God sent me here to meet this man. And you're going to always run into to people in your life at certain times in your life that were in real influential. And this was a key moment. Because this was the beginning. And it looked like I was going to become a closet Christian. I seen his boldness. I, I needed his boldness. Christian. And I know what boldness was about because in my life before Christ, I was always trying to be bold. So I seen this boldness, true boldness, by the way, no shame in speaking about Jesus. And this fucking sucks. I started attending his Bible studies whenever wow. we would be at recreation time. And I started picking his ear and he would pray with me and teach me things of the Bible. And we would have prison Bible studies where people from outside of the prison would come in and and freely spend time, voluntarily, by the way, fellowship with us, share the word with us. And and we even had a Spanish preacher that would come and be bilingual and speak the word in English and Spanish just so more people could attend his Bible studies. These are people who had different personalities and they fed into my heart, into my life, where now I could pick their brains and figure out how to install these good qualities in my life, in my walk, when I come home. Now, I'm back in Chicago, and I work for my church. Not only do I work for my church, I'm in the same community that I did damage in. I remember going to Manny Mills in Glen Ellen, it's called Radical Time Out, and it's a time where everyone gets together and they pray radically. It's a place where they can pray and fellowship Fuck together, man. break bread together and hear the word Chill. together, worship together. And I remember going that, you know, I had to go there, it's a must. Okay. I went there and I've been going there every chance I get and I gave my testimony there. Go check now. And remember I had spoke about forgiveness and I wanted working. God to restore what here. the so, enemy I mean, the internet's not working, so. Shortly after I my testimony, I spoke to, to Neftali, who is pretty much Manny Mills' right-hand man, and uh, 